Hi everybody, I'm going to talk to you tonight about using 2DIY or 2 do yourself which I know a lot of people have in their classrooms now. A lot of people use this to create resources for the children to use in class or use it with older children to create games or more complicated activities but I like to use it with younger children as young as year one to just cover their basic skills of using tools and copying and pasting because I think it adds a little bit extra to skills that you could also do in a paint program. So I'm going to use the pairs activity for this tonight using the eight cards. I'm going to show you an activity that I've covered with year one pupils in the past. And I'm going to make a pairs game that's based on the Gruffalo. We're going to do some characters from the Gruffalo. So I'm going to click down here on the black arrow to get the full range of tools. And I'm going to start by using the fill tool. I'm going to choose a colour here. I'm going to fill in this first rectangle and you can see the dotted line shows you that that's a pair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in here and I'm going to put the same picture into the second rectangle. So I'm going to draw a nice simple character from the Gruffalo. That's the snake. I'm going to add his eye and I'm going to make my felt pen a little bit smaller to add his fork tongue. And there's my snake. I'm going to right click here and copy and then I'm going to right click in here and paste. Now I'm going to do the rest of the characters. So I'm going to do the owl next. He's a little bit more fiddly so it's a good opportunity to introduce the use of the magnifying glass here and I'm going to use this lovely fuzzy brush tool that gives a little bit of texture to draw my owl. So there's his head there's his body. I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller, give him some wings, maybe give him some white feathers down here. Then I'm going to use the felt tip pen. I'm going to make it quite small just to add some details on the bottom here and his beak. And then I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and add his eyes just there. And there's my owl and again I'm going to right click on my owl to copy and right click in the rectangle next to it to paste. And I'm going to do that for the other characters that I'm going to cover. I'm going to use the magnifying glass again on this one. This one's going to be the mouse, so I want a nice grey. And I'm going to use the felt tip pen and I'm going to draw a nice mouse shaped head with a nice pair of ears and in the story he's kind of standing up like this. So there's my mouse. Make my pen a little bit smaller. I'm going to add some finer details to my mouse. There's his tail, inside of his ears, his nose and his eyes. There he is. So again, repetition over learning. Right click, copy, right click and paste going to finish off in here with the fox. Fill tool again. going to use this nice fuzzy brush. Use it on the orange. I'm going to do the fox's body, his head and his ears. Nice tail. Give him some legs there. I'm going to get a smaller brush. Maybe do some little white details on him. And finally, going to use the felt tip pen to give him some eyes and a nose. Here he is. Here's my fox. And again, right click to copy, right click to paste. Now, we're also going to put some sound on this because I think that's important. We're going to put a sound on for the correct combinations and the incorrect combinations. For the correct combinations, I'm going to use this magic wand sound. <laughs> For when they get it wrong, I'm going to use this spring. But there are a whole range of sounds that you could choose to use. Now as a final touch, I'm just going to click on this grey background and make it a little bit more colourful. I'm going to choose this nice dark blue. And then I'm going to click the green arrow and have a go at my game. I'm not going to bother with the clock. These are young children. I'd introduce that at a later stage. But here we go. Oh dear.
Now what I'd do with this is when the children had saved their work, I'd get the children to swap places and try out each other's activities. So you've got an opportunity there for a little bit of peer and self-assessment. And that's it, using 2DIY with younger children.